art is, it gives people a way of negotiating self and the world as it evolves. When you don't have the answers, that's where curiosity can fill in. That challenge of being both free and in control, that's really what the artist needs to master. The world is ever changing. One of the things that art should do beyond just painting pretty pictures or sculpting things from real life, which has its value, is to continue to negotiate uh, and ask questions and reflect. And the beauty of it is it, it gives one an interdisciplinary platform to do that. It's not just about one thing. Art is about politics. Art is about science, religion, social issues. All these things play a role in our physical world. But then we also have the imagination. We can only pursue what we can envision. And we have to be able to advocate for the value of pursuing new ideas and fresh discoveries. Syracuse University has given me a unique opportunity here. I get as, as excited about seeing light bulbs come on for young people as I do in, in my own studio, in my own work. That's how I know that I'm as much of an educator as I am an artist. I don't necessarily work in a traditional field such as sculpture. Throughout my career, this has taken me from doing performance art to video to large scale installations in a museum. The Tree of 40 Fruit on the SU campus is a single tree that produces 40 different types of stone fruit. It was designed purely as an artwork. I was really interested in grafting as this metaphor when I first started the project of one that could speak about hybridity. And in a lot of ways, my experience of the world. But then through that, that's where I really learned about the threat to biodiversity in our food. Recently, my work explores themes of conservation, sustainability, biodiversity. Interdisciplinary thought introduces new thought you have to look at other areas because they give us conceptual models of ways to evolve and develop. Without Syracuse University, without the interdisciplinary strategies that it has in place right now and working across departments, I'm, I'm almost certain I wouldn't be making the artwork that I make. What I love most about being a writer is that I can engage the world in a different way than the ordinary way. I can really think deeply about things through sentences, through writing, through observation. I think about trying to tell the truth about something that interests me, but it's really about asking questions and really engaging the questions as authentically as you can and kind of following through on something, even if it's provocative, even if it frightens you, even if it's discomforting, and maybe all those things are actually good signs that you're doing something that requires a risk. It's very important to encourage students to take big risks. There's a certain amount of subjectivity to art. You have to yourself define what success is. The Syracuse University Creative Writing Program is one of the oldest writing programs in the country. Here, doing your own work and teaching are equally important. Students need to see practitioners who are alive and not just dead authors and books. The biggest role is just making them feel that what they do is important and worthwhile that it's very important that their voices be heard and that, um, and that we, we need them to do it. <laughs>